Hi, Preston Salen here, and today I want to talk to you about pre-inspections. Pre-inspections have been around for a long time, but I want to talk to you a way uh, that uh, Dave Kleeman and I have come up with uh, digitizing it and uh, making it a little bit more palatable and making it a win-win for everybody involved. So I am going to take it over to the uh, board over here. If you look down, and I'm going to just draw it out for us. Okay, so uh, pre-listing inspections have been around for a long time. Um, so normally we have a house, um, you know, either the seller or the listing agent contacts the home inspector uh, to do an inspection. Um, let's see, pre-listed house. So we all kind of know how that works, and that's what we're used to. Uh, Pre-listing inspection, or inspected house, pre-listed inspection house, or something along that line. Now we know the advantages. Um, it gives the uh, seller time to uh, get multiple. And let's see. So then a, a report is produced, right? It gives the uh, seller time to get multiple offers, uh, bids on the um, repairs instead of hit with rush charges. It also allows them to um, <clears throat> keep the buyer from using the inspection report um, on getting them down on the price of the house. So there's lots of uh, things there. The problem is, all right, so let's, let's talk about the players here. So we have the buyer, I mean, I'm sorry, the seller. Seller of the house, right? Lives in the house. We have the real estate agent. Call her R, him R, don't want to be sexist, um, real estate agent. And then we have the inspector, right? It's me, I have a large head. So uh, the way this traditionally works is, like we said, a pre-listed home sells faster uh, for more money. It gets the kinks out of the deal, um, you know, fireproofs the deal. Gary Keller has it in a, a chapter in his book on shift, fireproofing the deal. We all know the advantages, but the problem is somebody has to pay. Now let's go with green on that since we're talking about money. Somebody has to pay the inspector. So usually it's the seller. And that's kind of a tough sell because you've got this realtor who's talked them into, hey, please list with me. And by the way, I want you to do a pre-listing inspection. That's, you know, four or $500. And then you're gonna have to make all these repairs and blah, 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 blah. And it's kind of a hard sell. Now, in some cases, I've seen this, and this works rather well. Well, um, some realtors say they will pay for it. They're so sure that they will sell the seller's house that they will pay for the inspection. But what they'll do is have the seller pay for it ahead of time, and then they reimburse them out of closing. So that kind of puts the golden handcuffs or whatever. But again, I guess the basics of this are pre-listing inspections the way they're done now. We all know the advantages. There's a ton of them. Look it up. Advantages of a pre-listing inspection. Look up Gary Keller's book. Um, Internacci on their form. They have, I mean, not their form, but they have a whole list. Uh, they have an article. Um, but again, the hardest part is getting somebody to pay the inspector to produce this inspection report, um, which is what people will use. All right, so uh, let's let's talk about what's new, what has changed. Uh, so you know, we still have the house, right? Excuse my quick drawing here. Um, you know, pre-inspected, we're just going to say pre-inspected home, P-I-N. <laughs> All right, uh, we still have the inspection report over here, right? Just like before, but we're talking about what's new, right? Inspection report. So let's get all the players involved here again. And this is kind of the new landscape. Um, now, with the advent of the internet and digitizing, there's something, there's a crinkle that's been added. Now it's not just a physical report or you know paper report, it can be used as a download on a computer. So basically a button. So let's just call that download. All right. And let's see who the players were as before. You know, we have the seller, right? We have the inspector down here, big-headed me, inspector. 
And we have the realtor. I'll put the realtor over here. You know, realtor is usually pretty closely tied with the uh, the seller. Um, I'm not sure I did that quite right. But uh, anyway, but we have some new players. Um, and let's talk about this for a minute. So, so far, the only new thing that we have is the download, the digital download. But what we found out is there is value here. Um, the downloads, the people who download that, that's worth money. Um, whether it be a buyer, uh, I mean a buyer, a potential buyer is going to download it, but that's valuable to many people, realtors, mortgage people, all kinds of people. Then within the inspection report itself, you have all these repairs that need to be made. That's very valuable to a company like Porch, Home Advisor, or a local contractor, uh, people who do those repairs. So then that's valuable. So. Okay, so let's review what's changed. We now have a digital download and we have since found out that's worth money, there's value there, and the inspection report is worth money. So now you kinda have some new players involved. And these new players, because they figured out, wait a minute, there's value here. And remember the, time, the hard time we had getting this person paid? So we still need to get this person paid. Is there some way we can take this value here and get this person paid, right? So we have some new players on this field now. I'm gonna call this orgs, organizations. Uh, I'm gonna call this VIN for vendors. Um, because now they realize that if there is value here and they can get this value, right? They can get this value, they can pay this person, right? Um, this person gets paid and the inspection gets done, whether it's for free or whatnot. But the difference is now the vendor or the organization has facilitated that. Now, let me insert something here, though. That all looks great, right? We get paid either way. But the problem is the person who's paying you now is not the seller. When the seller was paying you or the realtor was paying you, you had control because you had multiple realtors, multiple sellers. There's, all, there's very few of these. So... What has happened here is control. And what I mean by that is uh, they can choose to pay you or not pay you. Pay another uh, inspector. Uh, and they can choose how much. Do you get what I'm saying here? So what would they could you know charge you know the two hundred dollars, whoever. So by orgs and vendors inserting themselves into this new landscape, they have now taken the value of this and taken control. And they will control these people. In the old, um, you know, situation here, this person's in control. The home inspector's in control. So is that better or is that worse? Well, you probably know how I feel. So how, if we know that there's value over here, and this person could use some value, and actually it's their information after all, is there not a way that we could bypass these guys? Why do we even need these guys? And we could facilitate this. That's gonna be my next um, picture. So here we go again. <laughs> Let's get back into the players. Uh, but we don't have the org in the vend anymore, so let's uh, draw the house here. Um, and the house drawing ability seems to be going down. Uh, and we have the person there. Uh, we still have the uh, inspection report. Let's go over here. Inspection report. It's a couple of pages, right? Uh, inspection report. All right, I think I know how to spell report, right? Uh, and then we still have this download, right? Download. All right, let's get the players involved again. Uh, we have the inspector. I for inspector. We have the uh, seller, right? He's a major player in this. He wants to you know, get his house pre-inspected so it'll sell faster and for more money. Um, and then we obviously have the realtor. Um, 
try to do a little better job this time. Seller. Okay. We got rid of the org and the van because we didn't need them. And remember, we found out there's value here in the download or who downloads. That's valuable information. There's also down value in the inspection report. So this is what we propose. This is part, our whole platform is going back to kind of the original where the, um, make sure I got the right uh, green, okay. Where the seller, we go to the seller, we go to the realtor and say, you know, we've got this platform where you'll get all their uh, uh, leads and all of that, but also um, you will get benefit from porch or home advisor or something like that. So if this inspection report is worth to porch $550 in value or home advisor, if we could get them to say four or $500, whatever, or a local contractor, if, if they'd be willing to give three to $500 and you could qualify it, you know, because what's going to happen is <clears throat> this out of this inspection, there's going to be several thousand dollars worth of repairs. We found out that what, what we can do is if we can offset that with this value here, um, the seller's much more willing to pay you if they get $500 off on $3,000 repair that they have to be make. So porch has agreed. Uh, they will give like $550 of value, three to $500 if you could get a local contractor or something like that. So you go to your seller and you say, Mr. Seller, or you know, to your realtor, we have this platform where we do a pre-inspection, we load it up, your potential buyers can download it. Uh, and in exchange, you get uh, $500 or three to $500 off of the repairs that you're gonna need. So that offsets that you know, money that they have to pay the inspector. We still get paid like we did before and we're still in control. Okay, so what does that look like? So how do we, how do we facilitate that? I'm glad you asked. All right, so we do the inspection report, right? And before we upload it, what happens is, let me, so what happens is, let me make sure this thing's working. Yeah. Okay. So the home inspector does the inspection report and they load it up for a download, right? Now, at first we thought about the seller doing it, but we don't know there'll be all different levels of skill. So they load it up, but before it gets live, an email goes to them, goes to the seller. And so what happens is they get an email that looks something like this. Um, your report is about to go live. Are you okay? You know, it'd be worded a little bit better than that. Getting repair estimates. People calling you. In return, you get $500 off repairs, right? Off repair, repair. I apologize, guys. My handwriting is not the best. And click agree. And you're going to tell them about this uh, before it goes. So they get that screen. They click on that. And then one other screen comes up. And this screen is about warranties. And, you know, some inspectors want them, some don't. I meant to say that in the early part. Uh, some people have really good success with warranties. Most warranty companies will offer free um, period, listing period warranties. If you don't want this on your platform, you can pick and choose. If you don't want this, you can pick and choose. We're just trying to offer a way to offset that cost because remember, that was our original problem. Um, and do you want control of it or do you want vendors or organizations controlling it? All right, so warranty. You could have warranty one, warranty two, warranty three. Another problem, if a vendor does this or an organization to participate, you're going to have to be in their organization, their organization only, or it's only going to sell that person's warranty only. We have everybody on our platform. And uh, so they pick one and they agree. All right. 
then it goes live and the report goes to the contractor uh porch home advisor whoever look i'm not a fan of home advisor uh porch or any of those guys either but they're here to stay um and some people when i talk to people would be willing to get 500 dollars off i talked to a realtor today absolutely be willing to uh to get 500 dollars off the cost of the repair uh in you know to listen to their you know estimates and all that so let's go over that one more time how does this work seller pays the home inspector for the inspection like always but the home inspector tells them you know if you're willing to allow the contractor or home advisor somebody like that to uh take a look at your report and give you uh estimates you get 500 dollars off or thereabouts towards the repairs that will offset the four or five hundred dollars they pay you okay so they do the inspection load up the report but before it actually goes live it goes over here it goes to the seller actually and they usually are going to have two screens they got to go through and agree one is your report's about to go live are you okay with getting repair estimates blah, 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 uh you know click here and agree click and then the next one is warranties do you want this warranty so when you sell it you know it comes with a warranty and usually that warranty period from the time this thing hits to the time their house sells the listing period it's covered and sometimes that can be cover anything that uh, is missed or or happens in between that time so everybody with me so far uh any questions although you're watching a video i guess you could text me or email me okay so i'm on my final screen here let's uh let's talk quickly about people buying the report and how does that work so it's going to be on inspectedhouses.com. Uh, inspected houses. Houses. I'm the worst speller in the world. Dot com. This is going to be where they are. Uh, you're going to have the inspection report here, right? Inspection report. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Inspection report. Um, and the way I vision this is uh, in, when we're talking to the software company, uh, and you're going to have a download, right? The way this is going to be uh, is going to be much like a uh, YouTube. You ever go to YouTube? Uh, YouTube has a download right here. So YouTube has like a uh, a link over here, um, which will be you know your HTTP whatever blah 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 blah, 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 blah whatever, uh, and then I'll have an embed code, which is uh, you know HTML, which I can't spell. Uh, and it'll be, you know, blah, 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 like that. So why do we have this? Because what this does is allows that realtor, wherever they have the listing anywhere, to grab this link or this embed code and put this download button or a live link back to here to get the report, no matter where. So they don't have to come to inspectedhouses.com. Uh, it can be an MLS. We can put this in MLS. Uh, on their website, wherever they just grab that, just like the uh, same thing with uh, YouTube. That's how you can, you know, you can. I can put a YouTube link or embed code in a video. I mean, in a website. Same thing here. We're going to put our digital download, uh, embed code, and link so they can put it wherever they want. So let's talk about this for just a second. Potential buyer comes and buys the report. It's uh, nine dollars, and that goes back to the seller. All benefits go to the seller with our program. Uh, they do not go to the home inspector other than them getting paid for the report because uh, I kind of think it's unethical and it's against standard practice in most things. But they don't go to a vendor or an organization either. All benefits go back to the seller. All right, so uh, potential buyers. I usually did red for people. Let's say buyer, buyer, uh, woo -hoo. Um, I'm going to be an expert at drawing sticks people after a while. Download the report, right? Or I should have it going the other way. They're going to see a screen like this before they actually get it. I should be doing this in black, sorry. They're going to see a screen like this before they actually get the report. And it's going to say, the listing agent will be following up with you. Probably going to run out of space. Following up. You okay with that? You may click yes. And they put in their $9 in their credit card. So 
they get the report, inspection report, after they get through this screen, pretend like that screen says the same thing. They get the inspection report. Now, what else happens? Well, funny you should ask, this is the best part of the whole program. Uh, each one of these buyers, and they put in their information, it goes to two people so that they stay in control. And those two people are you, the inspector, you could follow up with them and ask if they have any questions. You do the inspection and the listing agent. Um, the listing agent is going to love you for this because everybody who downloads that report off their listing, they get it uh, and they follow up with them. And these people were told they follow up with them. So they get a text. So that phone call goes something like this. Uh, hello. Hi. I saw you just uh, downloaded the report on my listing on 123 Maple Street. I, I just wanted to follow up with you. And if there are any questions I could ask, answer for you or any follow up things you have, I'd, I'd love to help in any way I can. Da -da 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 -da. I picture Charlie Brown's teacher talking. And then you say, oh, by the way, are you working with a realtor? Now, there's the part in the road. If they're not working with a realtor, obviously there's an opportunity there. And this, like I said, this listing agent. I said L, listing agent, L-A, um, is going to love you for that. Now, if they are working with an agent, this is what they ask them. They ask who that agent's name is, and they tell you. It's a small world. You can find their number. Uh, you call that agent right away and say, hi, I just want to give you a heads up. Your buyer just downloaded a report on my listing uh, on this property right here. How can I help you in any way to make this deal work? Now, you see how that's a win-win? Either they got a new buyer or they made a really good ally out there in the real estate world. But we kept those uh, leads uh, in-house. And most of all, the inspector stayed in control of the entire deal. That is the main thing about our platform. I'll go back to uh, one of the other ones. Um, it's really a lot like the first deal. You know, this is what we're doing now. Pre-listing, they're in control. But the problem is, it's hard. Well, home inspectors in control. But the problem is, it's hard to swallow that cost. Or the realtor to swallow that cost. So what we've just done and figured out is, since there's value in those downloads and those inspection reports, we have figured out a way to get this value to the seller to offset their cost to us. But we stay in control. You don't need these people in the middle because... Look, they're just going to have control, um, and I, 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 they're not necessary. Um, you're the ones who's doing it, doing the inspection, and, and this is their information. What do we need these guys for? This is Preston Salen. Uh, if you have any questions about our uh, program, please contact me or Dave Klima. Thanks a lot.